Welcome back. Now we are going to look at how you can rename a column on an existing table on the database. So this for situation where you just want to rename a column that exists on a database without necessarily using commands like rollback or migrate fresh. Because once you use that, then it means you'll have to delete everything from that uh, table. So let's see how this is done. So here I have a column which I want to rename called quote and I want it to rename to quote title. So I'll have to do this by a single migration file. So that's the first thing we need to do. So something else is if you go to the Laravel documentation about database migration, you'll see how you can, let's go to renaming column. So we have these renaming columns at the bottom here. We have this one, renaming columns. So as you can see, it says to rename a column, you might you may use the rename column method on the schema builder. But before running or renaming a column, be sure to add the doctrine default dependency on your composer.json file. And then this is how you do it. That is use the rename column method on this schema builder. And then you specify the column you want to rename from and then to the column you want to rename to. So let's first run this migration file and then install this uh, doctrine default. So on the terminal or command prompt, I'm going to run php artisan make migration and then rename quotes column to or basically let me just say rename quote column and then specify the table that I want to rename to, which is quotes. Enter. So migration or my created migration. Let's see from the database directory. So we open that file. We'll add it here. So we're going to use the rename column table. A method rename column which is from and then to to which column so I'm going to rename from quote to quote title And then also we need to add that on the draw on the down method because of the rollbacks that you're going to do. So I'm going first to duplicate this and then bring it all the way to here. Now on the down method, we are going to interchange these columns because it will be performing the down method. So this one should be quote title and then this one other one will be quotes like that so the up method should be able now to create this and then the down method should be able to perform this operation because it is the down method so roll back just in case we want to roll back then it will be able now to do exactly that now, the next thing we need to do is to add that dependency. So make sure you save that. So if you look at the documentation again, you'll see we have this. We need to add this now on the composer.json. So I'm going to copy this. And then go to the composer.json file. And I'm going to add it on this required dev. And then, which is star, like that. And then here we need to add that. Save. Now let's run the Composer update. So I'm going to say Composer updates. Enter. So it takes a while. Wait for it.
so it has completed now let's run the migration i migrate that file so php artisan migrate so migrated let's say from the database so i'm going to click on this table browse and now as you can see we have that column code title which has been renamed to this name so it was yeah, before it was quote now it is quote title so everything is working perfectly and i'll see you in the next lecture